Hey y'all, so if you came from my Instagram, you know I made this little snippet of the black and chicken spaghetti that I made And it had a lot of comments, the comments went crazy asking for the recipe and everything So let's go ahead and dig in So I started off with some black seasoning and also chicken breast I just generously seasoned my chicken breast until my ancestors told me to stop um, And then I added olive oil with one tablespoon of butter I waited till it got hot and bubbly and then I went ahead and added in the chicken breast. I cooked the chicken breast for approximately maybe 7 minutes per side. But I was really going for that look to, you know, when you can see that it's actually blackened. Um, so once it was that effect, I went ahead and took it out. But it was approximately maybe 5 to 6 minutes on each side. And I'm trying to get this video done for y'all. I'm a little sick, so if my voice go in and out, it's a little ghetto here. I'm sorry, I'll remake it the video later on. So you see how this look? Alright, get up on my pot. So with the juice that's left over, I just went ahead and kind of mixed it up a little bit. And I turned my heat down. I turned it down to maybe like a 5. I think I had it on 6. So I added in my heavy whipping cream and also those seasonings. I'll drop those into the um, description as well. So I kept uh, mixing it up. And once it got bubbly... Um, I went ahead with well, I keep saying bubbly once it started to simmer sorry I went ahead and uh, started adding my cheese so I started off with a block of cream cheese but I only used half of it and I cut those into four cubes so once again one block of cream cheese and cut in half and then I cut that half into four cubes and use each cube so since cream cheese really doesn't like to melt like that, I let that simmer as well for a minute and then I added the other cheeses. I'm going to also drop those in the description, but here they are just in case. So extra sharp, Kobe Jack, and Pepper Jack. So I went ahead and added those. Somebody keep count of the cheeses because I posted on Instagram that it was four, but it may be more than that. <laughs> And in the comments, somebody said that it was too much cheese. If you feel like it's too much cheese, you do not have to do it like I did it. You can use more or less. It's up to you. I love cheese. So then I added in Velveeta and I used two cans of five roasted to uh, Rotel. <laughs> I'm tripping today but anyways I went ahead and added in some cream of mushroom and I seasoned the noodles with parsley and Cajun seasoning and I seasoned the mixture with parsley and Cajun seasoning so then with the noodles I added them into the mixture of the sauce and just for it to get like a little flavor from when it's time to bake um I was gonna mix everything together the meat the noodles and the cheese but I decided to do it a little different this time so as you can see I just made sure that the noodles were covered in the sauce and then I went ahead and put those into the baking pan so with the chicken breast that we kicked out of the skillet earlier we're gonna go ahead and you can shred it dice it or slice it however you uh, decide to do it and I went ahead and put that on top of the noodles so then with the sauce that I had left over in the pot I went ahead and poured it on top of the mixture and then we're going to top that with some of the cheese like I said you don't have to use as much cheese as me I love cheese so that's why I use the amount of cheese that I did so if you feel like it's too much cheese just use different cheese or I mean you can use more it just depends like I said when you're cooking it's for you to eat so it really doesn't matter as long as you think it's good and you're okay with it then look use as much cheese as you want I don't care this is the view before the oven and this is the view after the oven um I baked it for about uh, probably 10 minutes i was going to broil it but i didn't really want a burnt like macaroni and cheese type thing i kind of wanted it cheesy and creamy look at that boom and see how simple that is you can do it yourself i'll keep dropping the recipes i'm sorry that i made this video so short but my throat is hurting y'all i'm so sorry um, thanks to everyone that's loyal. I really just hit 100k before Christmas. This a whole year of me putting in work to this. So I just want to say I love everybody. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the views. Thank you for everything. Thanks for 
inviting me in your kitchen basically you know so i love y'all thank you like share and subscribe let me know if you tried it let me know if you liked it let me know what's up bye y'all